People around the world see the impacts of climate change in more frequent and severe heat waves, wildfires, droughts, and floods. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, says, limiting global warming requires rapid, far-reaching, and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society. And citizens of all ages and backgrounds, including children, are taking to the streets together, calling for system change, not climate change. While many organizations are advocating for system change, few are trying to do it. And what exactly is system change? Systems theorist Daniela Meadows defines it as a set of things, people, cells, molecules, or whatever, interconnected in such a way that they produce their own pattern of behavior over time. So system change can be thought of as a change to the system such that it produces a new pattern of behavior. Or as Rachel Wharton and Alice Evans explain it, systems change is about addressing the root causes of social problems, which are often intractable and embedded in networks of cause and effect. It is an intentional process designed to fundamentally alter the components and structures that cause a system to behave in a certain way. EIT Climate Kick CEO Kirsten Dunlop describes how system change might be experienced in a city. Rewilding a city, for instance, can reintroduce the benefits of biodiversity and better air quality and introduce nature-based solutions to waste management and low emissions energy sources. It can also create a set of jobs in community gardens, urban farming, and green spaces that are hard to automate, as well as a set of common spaces that contribute to social, emotional, and physical well-being, reducing healthcare costs, and introducing a set of benefits associated with community cohesion. You can begin to see how one climate intervention can have positive knock-on effects rippling through society for transformational, not incremental, change. But how do we make this vision a reality? At EIT Climate Kick, we're trying to find out. And our approach is to change systems by centering the role of innovation, systems innovation, if you will. This involves leveraging our expertise in European technology and community building, taking calculated risks and creating the conditions for serendipity, trying to get the right people in the right place at the right time. We call our systems innovation projects deep demonstrations, and they're already happening in places all over Europe from Scotland to Italy to Poland. These projects tackle areas where we need to mitigate and adapt to climate change, like in cities, landscapes, food and diets, finance, industries, and ports. We've spent the last 10 years hosting green programs, projects, and events to build a powerful community of climate change innovators. Students, inventors, entrepreneurs, scientists, city and government workers, and citizens. We're talking over 1,600 climate positive companies and more than 400 partners. What makes the deep demonstration special is they tap into that huge network of innovative talent and knowledge, unlocking the potential for change to happen fast and at scale. The deep demonstrations have another special ingredient, a unique system change process designed to foster a healthy and prosperous future for everybody. Here's an example of what it looks like in practice. Phase one, you're a city mayor and you'd like to start doing more to mitigate climate change, to improve citizen health and well-being, not to mention meet the increasing demands for climate action from citizens. You also want to ensure the transition is fair to everyone. You reach out to EIT Climate Kick and join one of its deep demonstrations. For example, Healthy Clean Cities. First, we listen to understand your local context and challenges, political, cultural, environmental, you name it. Together, we work towards a clear commitment you decide on a city carbon neutrality target of 2030. Phase two, we map the systems related to the goal and identify areas where we can intervene with innovations to lower greenhouse gas emissions. For example, we see that city greening and wetlands such as parks, ponds, and green roofs have lots of benefits, like giving children more space to play and for adults to stay active, helping to cool the city as summers get hotter and reducing pollution and noise from car engines. We then identify companies and innovations that can support these changes. Phase three, we assemble and manage a portfolio of 30 to 100 connected innovations. Alongside the city greening and wetlands projects, we've also included ones to support the increase of cycling lanes and walking areas for pedestrians, clean public transit, renewables in the local energy mix, urban gardening, and more. Importantly, we bring a systemic lens to the portfolio with innovations working across education, technology, citizen engagement, policy, finance, and other relevant leverage points we identify. Places within a system where a small shift in one thing can produce big changes in everything. Phase four, learning by doing. 
We use a sense-making process to ascertain how these multiple solutions, working simultaneously, might learn from each other. We assess the performance of the innovations against a 2030 carbon neutrality goal and continuously improve until we reach it. In this way, the deep demonstration is a living lab and it may take a few revisions to get it right. We want everyone to learn from these tests for change too, especially policymakers. That's why we're committed to reporting publicly on our deep demonstrations as they unfold. The world needs inspiration, proof that inclusive, fast, and large-scale change is possible. A better world is possible. Will you help us make it?